Well, there it is. Welcome once again to another Warcraft Free Reforged video. This is Witty here, and we are going to be covering the Reforged skins for Thrall, the Champion of the Horde, and Jaina, the Daughter of the Sea. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the Wowhead article. They say that we've data mined Warcraft Free Reforged skins for Thrall, Champion of the Horde, and Jaina, Daughter of the Sea, unlocked through purchasing Spoils of War. So that's the upgrade for essentially the Warcraft Free Reforged package that you can buy from Blizzard, like the deluxe package. So you also get the meat wagon mount in World of Warcraft, the retail version, which it actually looks pretty damn good, to be honest. I've got it, I've seen it, and it's uh, it's kind of gory. There's blood splattering everywhere. So let's start off this video with Daughter of the Sea, Jaina, the Warcraft free reforged skin. They actually have a video here, so let's take a look. Make sure we're on 1080. Yes. And then start this off. So, right away, she's looking pretty good. Don't know if we've got sounds or anything. Maybe not. Ah, probably not, but wow. Okay, that looks really detailed. I'm liking the thick, bushy tail of the horse. Very realistic. Jaina, looking very distinctive with that hairstyle that she has and that staff. I quite like this. I'm sure we saw a model of this not so long ago, but it didn't look as good as this does. I'm pretty sure about that. Oh my goodness, Jane is down. Might need to resurrect her from the altar. The staff stays in place like a lot of the weapons seem to do. Here she is channeling. Now she's just sort of standing still in one of her poses. The horse canters a little bit. You can see the cape. The It's got a little, lead, little red, red riding hood thing going on here. Oh, I think there are sounds actually. Those oh, I see. Is that? So it's just the actual music for Daughter of the Sea. Okay. Just wondering there if she was talking to me or not. Are you talking to me, Jaina? So there we go. Once again, the horse falling down. And then up. Because that's how it works. So it's channeling, being turned round. Just a standing animation pose. The cape looks really good. The angles of the gown that she wears. And the... Blo the striking blue of the alliance, but she's also got the white to counterpart it, so it gives some sort of contrast there and makes the character sort of stand out. The horse doesn't look like it's taking too much detail or um, taken away. The uh, neck part of the horse looks a little bit janky, but obviously that could be worked on because none of this is necessarily completely finished. So we're just going off what we can see. Back to the channeling. So the model itself looks really good, actually. I'm much more preferring this because it's very simplistic. The horse in the canter pose looks good. Running along with urgency. I feel like you can definitely tell that this is the Archmage hero. Obviously, it's Jaina, not the actual Antonidas, but this is what she's supposed to represent, right? This will be a skin that you can purchase to play as instead of... Antonidas, you would use Jaina on the horse and she would pose essentially as the Archmage and have the same abilities, is what I am assuming. She's got a foot and a stirrups. Like, the detail is incredible, but it's not over the top in this case, I don't find. Nautical sort of symbolization on the front of the horse. And uh, yeah, it just looks great. I haven't got really any complaints with this one, other than Jaina looking... Very much like the World of Warcraft equivalent, which I think is really a shout out for the World of Warcraft players that are actually going to come and try Warcraft Free Reforged, to be frank with you. Because people might be thinking, oh, why doesn't it look like the actual Jaina from Warcraft Free on a horse? So with the, you know, the bright blue eyes and the blonde hair. Well, this is obviously Blizzard sort of catering a little bit to the World of Warcraft audience. So that's just what you're going to basically see in this video a little bit. So, yeah, I'm liking it. I see it. I understand it. I get it. And it works. So, no real complaints there. I think that's more or less it, just repeating. So, we will move on to the next section. So, you can see the pictures. Just go into a bit more depth here. The face is a little bit intense. <laughs> um, she looks a bit scary there. So this is the Jaina that's seen some things. She's been through the Feramore bombing. 
She's had a rough time since uh, her Warcraft 3 days. The staff itself looks really nice, how it curls around the gym. I can definitely get behind this model. I could get behind Jaina. I think that could work as well. She very elegantly poses very well on that horse. So whatever angle it looks like, she is sort of directing herself forward for the attack, which I like because it gives that kind of aggressive vibe. So there's the Daughter of the Sea. Now we're going to move on to Thrall, the Champion of the Horde. So let's boost this into your tube. Let's put this onto 1080p in a second. Oh wow, 1440p times 60. Okay, we're going that extra mile, are we? I wonder if it's got its own music or not. So there's Thrall. His hand's a little bit shaky. He's nervous going into battle after so long. This is, again, the Cataclysm days, or post-Cataclysm. Yeah, this is going to be different. It's just going to be music playing, so I'll just play my own music in this case. The wolf looks very sad to be down, and Thrall's not enjoying it much either. But then again, Doomhammer's up for grabs, so... Might want to nab that. Up it goes. That limp look. There's a nice sort of war pose. And then to battle pose. So Thrall looks a lot more like his old self. Ironically, since this is the future version of Thrall. So that's kind of funny when you think about it. The sandals, the sort of gentle brown simple garb works a lot, I think, for this type of Thrall. Because it fits in with the theme of him sort of changing from his previous Doom Hammer self to a more nobilistic shaman. It's got those giant red beads that cover around his hood. The wolf itself looks beefy, but not too over the top. None of this ridiculous armor that we've seen. So I'm much more enjoying the fact that it's, again, simplistic and not over the top. So the wolf's got striking blue eyes, those big, sharp, pointy teeth. It's got a lot of detail in its own face. You could almost imagine that as its own character in a way. And for all, I think for all intents and purposes, he looks really good. He's supposed to be chunky, because he is a big orc, so you can't really take that away from him. He's not going to look as elegant as Jaina would do, riding an animal. But he's got the, all the muscles, he's got the, like, the tight ripness, he's got the giant sort of hair, sort of beaded, and just draping down, looking very powerful. Look at that. Okay, let's pause it there. So, yeah, he looks quite grizzled here. But that is more or less the shape of Thrall. And you can actually see the blue eyes, the fee, sort of like the beard underneath. So I feel like it does work for me. Maybe the face maybe needs to change a little bit. But I can't really say for sure because this is an artistic impression. At the end of the day, it's not going to look exactly like Thrall. And then again, what is exactly like Thrall? Because we've had lots of different iterations of him over the past. So you have to sort of have a little bit of give and take with this. I like how these red balls have like a rusting, a kind of like a coating to them that gives them a bit of worn look. The clothing itself is actually kind of sort of torn a little bit. It's very more tribal, which is more reminiscent of the old horde. So that's looking cool to me. Oh. See you later, Thrall. And up he goes. <laughs> of what you can see. So there's the battle pose. So this is an older Thrall. And he definitely looks like an older version of Thrall. Feels like he's got a bit of a harsh time with his jowl. He's been through some battles. But for the most part, I think I'm a fan of the model. It's just the face doesn't necessarily quite match. But then again, the Jaina face was a little bit intense when we looked at that. So, overall, the design, the Doom Hammer itself, is looking much more on point. This character looks very, very powerful. You would not want to mess with him on the battlefield. So, I can't, no real complaints, to be honest, other than just a few criticisms that I mentioned regarding the face. But I like how 
more simplified these skins are, so it's much easier to identify who is on the freaking mount and what they are doing. Let's take a little look at the pictures. So we've got a different style here. Yep, so he's like just gently holding onto the wolf. And he looks commanding with that pose. The wolf looks ready to go at his master's command. So the muscles, the triceps, it's all there. Frawl is looking like the chieftain of old, but with the changes that have affected him since Warcraft 3. So good stuff, really. Very good stuff. Thank you to Wowhead for the article. And thank you guys very much for watching. I'm just going to go over a little bit more. But if you are still watching at this point, make sure to thumbs up the video and share. Smash that like button. It helps a lot. Early data mining of the Warcraft 3 client UI shows a skin section with the four spoils of war portraits included. These skins very likely replace heroes in multiplayer maps. Jaina replacing the Archmage and Thrall the Sparsier. So that's going to be another version of the Death Knight, most likely. And that's going to be another version of the Keeper of the Grove. So Corrupted Keeper of the Grove and basically uh, Arthas, Death Knight, sort of like all crowned up but evil at the same time. So that's going to be a really cool... He's not necessarily Death Knight yet. He looks really evil there, though. But he hasn't quite got white hair. He still looks like he's got blonde hair here. He just looks really evil. It's like maybe he's holding on to Frostmourne and hasn't quite converted completely. That's going to be interesting to see what that looks like. But here's the details. And the portraits are... Well, they're very much like their um, model counterparts. That looks like Thrall when he was on the mount. So Thrall's obviously, like I say, got his own artistic look. And Thrall's look corresponds to his cataclysm appearance when he stepped down from Warchief to embrace the shamanistic side and join the Urban Ring. Jaina's model is based on the battle for Azeroth appearance, reflecting the nautical influence of our homeland, called Talas. So these models are basically um, the World of Warcraft models, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is like uh, Warcraft 3 models. If they are, then fantastic, because they look like that kind of Warcrafty vibe, but I'm pretty sure they're World of Warcraft models, so we won't go into those too much detail. They say, do you think more Warcraft free skins will be available to added to the game? Possibly from sources like other Blizzard's collector's editions or events like BlizzCon. Who would you like to see as a skin? It's a very good question. I'd like to see, uh, hmm, I'd like to see a Sator skin. I like the Satyrs, they're like my favourite characters, or amongst my favourite characters. So, perhaps I could have a Sator version of uh, Malfurion. That would be kind of cool. So you know the Malfurion hero model, not the Keeper of the Grove one, the actual one where he's on his ground, but he's got a like Sator type look. It would be somewhat like this. Very evil version of Malfurion, because he's a little bit of a goody two-shoes. So we want to see um, him be a bit more badass. Anyway, that's the end of the video. What would you say? What would you like to see? For a hero skin, just try to think of one and uh, write it down in the comment section below. And any feedback you'd like to give, anything I can do to improve these videos, just let me know. Make sure to support me by thumbsing up the video, subscribing, sharing the videos on the social medias and all of that good stuff. Twitch.tv slash witty. I'll be streaming pretty much Tuesday to Sunday, more or less every day, 12 o'clock to uh, 2 o'clock for the most part. Take care, I'll see you later.